the verse we just recited clearly indicates that these women who are devotees always absorbed in thoughts of krishna they have very good knowledge of krishna their knowledge of krishna is uh, much more profound than today's big big so called vedic scholars the problem is anybody who has any knowledge but does not have devotion to krishna their knowledge is useless such knowledge will not save one from getting out of the cycle of birth and death the greatest impersonalist shankaracharya he says this bhaja govindam bhaja govindam govindam bhaja mudhamate he is addressing those people who don't take up the process of bhakti who don't render devotional service to govinda krishna who don't perform any kirtan any devotional service to krishna such people he calls them mudhamate foolish people foolish people krishna also uses this word mudha in the bhagavad gita in quite a few places uh, krishna describes those who don't surrender to him as mudha namam duskritino mudha prapadyante so those who don't render devotional service to krishna those who don't worship krishna those who don't glorify krishna they are mudhas and for such mudhas shankaracharya's advice is that you better take up devotional service to krishna begin at least better late than never and he says shankaracharya further says samprapte sannihite kale foolish people should particularly remember that if you don't take up bhakti to govinda devotional service to govinda then when death comes kala kala means death in this case in this instance when death comes that time nahi nahi rakshati dukram karane even if one is a very big scholar in sanskrit grammar even a big scholar in vedas vedic scholar that will not protect you that will not save you from death that will not help you at the time of death nahi nahi rakshati it will not help you certainly it will be not helpful for you at the time of death all you are learning if it has not resulted in you are taking up devotional service to krishna and the example of great devotees who may be even ordinary housewives because they are devotees they have attachment for krishna so their common talk is full of great realizations given in the vedic literature 